The center at the Heights in Needham is remaining closed coming into the fall season to continue to protect its community from COVID-19. However, the Council on Aging is still actively coming up with ways to get its members involved and gather them any help they may need. They have partnered up with Needham Youth and Family Services to create a higher a teen service among other programs. Here's a deeper look into what's being offered. We're doing some pretty amazing things um, heading into the fall and winter because we know that'll be very trying um, as people head back indoors and can't be outside as much. Um, we still have a lot of people who are social isolating and not leaving their apartments um, um, other than to maybe go for a walk around their building or their home. Um, so some of the things that we've been doing um, and are continuing to do are the lunch, daily lunch deliveries, um, Trader Joe's goodie bags that come with staples um, like bread, eggs, milk, um, pasta, um, snacks. Um, we also now, which we just started again this week and will go for the next few months at least, um, is freshness delivered and those are goodie bags of produce very fresh fruits and vegetables from um, farmers that go to Katsurubis' produce and then we deliver them on Tuesdays. On Wednesdays, we are delivering um, wonderful Wednesdays. They're sort of pick-me-up goodie bags and they can have um, games, uh, spa treatments at home, uh, puzzles, um, cards, um, flameless candles, deck of cards, um, that sort of thing, just to try to give people something to do and let them know that we're thinking about them. Um, and the other thing that we have is um, our hire a teen, which I'm hoping will take off um, as people need raking done in their yards. They're going to need shoveling done. Um, they're going to want their walks done if they have to go out to, say, a doctor's appointment or something. We want their um, property to be safe and upkept. Youth and Family Services has always kept a list of youth who want to work in the area. So therefore other residents to hire for random jobs, whether it be yard work, snow shoveling, babysitting, odd jobs. And what we're really trying to do is help um, these youth get some funds because um, there's no kid that doesn't like that. And then also to help the community and, and really keep it within the community. And um, it seems to, to be really successful. We, you know, it's important to note that we're not interviewing any of the youth that are signing up for these jobs. So it's important to kind of go through and talk to the youth that you want to hire for the various jobs to make sure that you think it would be a good fit for your family. Um, but for the most part, we've had a lot of success with it. And, you know, they've helped some older adults with some jobs that they would needed help with. We've helped some families with childcare. Snow shoveling is always very, very busy. Um, you know, we didn't get a ton of snow last year, but this year, you know, the way 2020 is going, I'm guessing it'll be a pretty bad year for snow. So we're hoping that we can just help out the community and help um, link up people so that youth can have jobs and people can get whatever they need done. There are some people that are, their only interaction is Zoom like we're doing now. Um, maybe they'll see their families through a window or out a balcony. Um, so it is very important that they do Zoom. We have a, did a tablet program where we, people that didn't have an iPhone, a tablet, a computer, uh, we got them some and hooked them up with Zoom accounts and emails um, and the internet. Um, to get people connected. We have one participant who is 94, has never touched a computer for, before, and, and now she goes to exercise programs, she goes to music programs. Um, she's kind of like, we're so proud of her, and, and hopefully she's become our poster child, and hopefully she'll, she's inspiring other people to, to give it a shot because it is so important, the social interaction. And even though this isn't the best um it's what's getting them through right now i think right now older adults are um they're just much more vulnerable in today's world and so that if we can as a community rally around them and help the most vulnerable people and help them feel supported it's 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 good for the community it's good to have a sense of helping others 
and it's good for them to feel like their community can take care of them. And, you know, there are other vulnerable populations and people that have medical concerns and things like that. And we really want to be able to help and make them feel safe in their community and, and know that people are going to rally around them when they really need it.